Welcome to part three of my review of the Audio-Technica System 10 Portable Wireless Digital Audio System. In this review, I will be doing an outdoor demonstration and an indoor demonstration. And at the end, I will give you my parting comments and impressions. If you want to see part one, which was the unboxing, or part two, which is the overview of the System 10, I will leave a link to those videos down in the description. So let's get on with the demonstration. I am doing an outdoor test of the wireless handheld microphone and the wireless body pack and lavalier microphone. Right now I am using the onboard microphone on my camcorder and I probably sound distant and there's probably a fair amount of wind noise because it's kind of breezy out here. So right now I'm using the wireless handheld. And this wireless handheld has a cardioid pattern, meaning that it rejects sound from the back and the sides and is favorable to sound in the front. And if I turn the microphone away from me, I'm sure my sound cut out when I did that. But I'm going to take a walk down the trail here and see how far this thing picks me up. So one of the things that I did with the wireless handheld is when I first used it, there was a little bit of handling noise on it because the tube, the body of it is plastic. And so it's kind of like a plastic tube that contains the electronics and the batteries. And because it is a tube, there is a little bit of a hollowness to it when you handle it. And so what I did was I took some uh, tennis racket overgrip and put it on the microphone. So what I'm doing as I'm walking down the trail is I'm kind of switching from one hand to the other with the microphone just to see if you pick up any handling noise. If you have a good grip on the microphone, it doesn't really, it's pretty quiet. It's when you have a weak grip on the microphone, that's when it tends to have the handling noise or when you're switching hands. So I'm probably at least a good hundred feet away from the camera right now. And I'm gonna go just to where the trail ends or the where it bends down here and see how it picks up. Now this system, the System 10, is a digital wireless system, meaning that what it does is the microphone digitizes my signal at uh, uh, 20, uh, I believe 44, one and 24. And then it transmits it to the receiver and then it gets decoded on the receiver end. So there really isn't any interference or any uh, staticky noise that you would get with an analog type system. Uh, the, I'm sure the signal either comes in or it doesn't. So I'm almost at the bend here. And I'm guessing that I'm probably almost a football field away from the camera. I don't know if my signal is still coming in or not. But uh, so far away, I can't even see the camera anymore. So it'll be interesting to see if this comes in. I'm kind of walking up an incline too, so I probably sound like I'm getting a little bit winded. So uh, so yeah, no, I'm, I'm at least a good football field away, uh, judging from how far the camera looks, as I can't even see it. So I'm gonna come back and then we'll switch over to the lavalier and see how that works. Okay, so that was a test of the wireless handheld. I'm gonna switch over to the wireless lavalier and see how that works out and I'll do the same thing. I'll go walking down to the end of the trail and uh, we'll do the distance test on it. This is a test of the wireless backpack and lavalier. I have the lavalier microphone taped to my chest underneath my sweatshirt. And the reason I did that was because yesterday I did a test and I had the lavalier on the outside of my clothes with the windscreen that comes with it. And the windscreen that comes with the lavalier is really chintzy and it doesn't really work very well. So that would be one thing that I would invest in if I was gonna use the lavalier outside on a regular basis. So I taped it to my chest underneath my clothes, so hopefully that cuts back on the wind noise. The other thing I did was that by default, the wireless backpack is set to instrument level and there's a little adjustment in there, which I'll show you at the end of this video, where you use that little screwdriver that's inside the wireless backpack to turn that down. So I turned it down to about 50% and that seemed to 
make it a lot better. So there's less wind noise and I wasn't clipping and it sounds way, way better. So I'm gonna walk down the trail here and we'll see how this thing works as I get further and further away and where it cuts out. So today is uh, November, God, it's a Sunday. I don't even know what the date is because it really doesn't matter. When you have the day off, who cares what the date is? Uh, it's probably like November 14th or something like that. And uh, the weather is gorgeous. I mean, here in southern Minnesota, it is just unprecedented. It was probably in the 50s today. Last year, about this time, it was cold and we were already had quite a bit of snow on the ground. And there's a lot of people walking on this trail, which is kind of funny is because when I was doing the wireless handheld test, uh, I was getting a lot of funny looks. But you know what? I don't care. I really don't. And uh, one of the things I plan on doing at some point in time is go do some public vlogging. And do some public vlogging using the wireless handheld. And I'm going to have a microphone flag on the wireless handheld that has my DB logo on it. And that really attracts attention and people uh, give you some funny looks, but it's funny. But one thing I found is funny is a handheld microphone, when you stick it in somebody's face, they either clam up or they ham up, <laughs> which is kind of funny. They either shut down or they put on a good show for you. But I'm getting close to being a football field away here. When I get down to the, the bend in the trail here, I will be probably about a football field away. The 300 feet. This system supposedly is rated for 300 feet. And uh, that's far more distance than anybody would ever need with a wireless system. I mean, you kind of probably can't even see me right now. And I'm waving to you. Uh, so you, I say you probably can't even see me. And so uh, having audio from this far away is kind of pointless, but it is possible. This is an indoor test of the wireless handheld microphone and wireless backpack and lavalier combo. Right now I'm using the built-in microphone on my camera and my audio probably sounds distant and weak and there's probably a lot of room ambience, a lot of echo in there and it's probably very unpleasing to the ear and it sounds like about 80% of the videos that are out there on YouTube. So let's test the handheld microphone and you can see the difference. Right now I'm using the wireless handheld and my audio probably sounds warmer more present and more pleasing to the ears. And right now my family is upstairs making all kinds of noise in the kitchen and you probably don't hear it because the wireless handheld has a cardioid pattern to it, meaning that it favors the sound in front of it and rejects the sound from the back and to the sides. One of the things I had to deal with with the wireless handheld was handling noise. And when I switch over to the wireless backpack, I'll tell you how I dealt with the handling noise. I talked about it when we were on our outdoor uh, demonstration, but I'll actually show you what I did. So to switch over to the backpack and the lavalier is pretty simple. I just turn the wireless handheld off and I'll turn the backpack on and I'll be switched right on over. Okay, so right now I'm on the wireless backpack and lavalier. And the sound probably has a different color to it. And the reason for that is that the lavalier is a condenser microphone and also has an omnidirectional pickup pattern. So it does pick up a little bit more ambient noise and it probably picks up my family making noise up in the kitchen more so than the handheld ever would. But as far as the handheld goes, one of the things I had to deal with was handling noise. And the reason for that is, is that the wireless handheld body is plastic and the upper part of the handheld has all the electronics and the bottom part of the handheld has the batteries. And there's a little bit of airspace in there. And I'll show you when I take the cover off, you can see here that there's two AA batteries and there's a little bit of airspace in here. And uh, when you handle it, it kind of has a hollow tubular kind of sound if you're not careful. And so one of the things I did was I bought some tennis racket overgrip. And I bought three rolls for $10 on Amazon.com. 
And what the overgrip does is it gives it kind of a spongy feel and it kind of gets rid of that hollow sound when you're switching from one hand to the other or if you happen to have a little bit of a loose grip. One way with the handheld microphone to really reduce the amount of handling noise is you got to have a good grip on the microphone. My overall impression of the Audio-Technica System 10 Portable Wireless Digital Audio System is pretty positive. Now I purchased mine as a combo. I got the receiver and the wireless handheld for $399. And I liked them so well that I went out and I purchased the wireless body pack and a lavalier microphone. I paid $79 for the wireless backpack and $89 for the lavalier microphone. Now, some of you may not have any use for the wireless handheld. If that's the case, you can buy the System 10 receiver and the wireless body pack as a combo for $379. Now, bear in mind, you still have to purchase a microphone. And like I said, this microphone that I bought, I paid $89 for. It's an omnidirectional condenser, and it does a pretty darn good job, if you ask me. Also on the plus side with the receiver is ease of use. To get it to work with any of the System 10 transmitters, all you do is you hit the pair button on the transmitter, the pair button on the receiver after selecting a system ID, and they pair up and you're good to go, and you never have to deal with that again. Also on the plus side, the battery life on the receiver is supposedly up to 12 hours. And that's a, a lithium ion rechargeable battery. It's pretty light. It does, you know, the whole system is pretty light. And I have been using it for about a total of four hours so far. And I still have three bars, which is 100%. So I still have not experienced any of the bars going down even after four hours of use. On the con side with the receiver is that it's in a plastic housing and the output jack is 1 8 inch and I'm not sure if you're using this in any kind of a professional sense where you're going to be plugging things in and unplugging them on a frequent basis how well that will hold up so if you're a professional you're probably going to invest in a better better quality receiver for my purposes and if you're like me and you just like to make YouTube videos and you want your sound to be better then this is a fantastic system for a very low price. You know, the next system that I looked at higher is almost double the cost. So you're going to spend close to a thousand bucks or more for anything that even comes close. Now, as far as the wireless body pack goes, it also is in a plastic housing. It takes two AA batteries. I'm not really sure what the battery life on the body pack is because I've only been using it for about a week. Uh, the plastic housing is, you know, plastic housing. It feels kind of cheap, but what the heck? What do you expect for 79 bucks? The other thing that concerns me about the wireless body pack is it has a proprietary jack for the microphone. And you could use other microphones with this, but you'll have to get a Audio-Technica jack to XLR or some t other type adapter if it's an eighth inch. And this jack, I don't think will hold up to abuse. Now, again, if you're like me and you're just making YouTube videos and you're just using it in your house and maybe occasionally taking it out in the field, it'll be fine if you're careful with it and treat it well. But if you're using this like on a movie set or if you're using this uh, in any type of a gigging situation, because you can use the body pack as a wireless system with a bass guitar or, wireless gu or a um, regular guitar uh, with a proper adapter cord, I don't know if this will hold up to gigging conditions. I don't think uh, I would do it because I would think that this jack would probably break rather quickly. But other than that, uh, it's... A good value for the price but like I said I don't think that this would hold up to harsh conditions now as far as the wireless handheld mic goes the one thing that I noticed right away when I used it was it had some handling noise and like I was saying a couple of times in this video it's because there's a little bit of hollowness in the bottom part of this microphone now I took care of a lot of the handling noise 
with the tennis racket over grip. Uh, it takes the two AA batteries. The, I have the original batteries that I put in it a month ago. It also has had about four hours of use and it still has four bars on the indicator. So it's pretty easy on the batteries. I think that the sound quality in the wireless handheld is pretty cool. And the other thing that you can do is you can get like a microphone flag to put on with a logo on it. And uh, you can get some interesting reactions from people when you do that. Would I recommend purchasing the Audio-Technica System 10, a portable wireless digital audio system? Well, it just depends on what you're going to be using it for. If you're like me, who is a home user who likes to make YouTube videos and wants to improve their audio, then I highly recommend this system because it's a good value for the money. If you're somebody that's doing professional videos or doing a lot of location work, or if you're even planning on using the wireless body pack as a wireless instrument system, I would probably spend some more money and get something that's a little bit more rugged because, like I said, I don't know how well the, the jacks on the receiver and especially the jack that goes onto the body pack here would hold up under gigging type conditions or conditions where they're going to be plugged in and unplugged and plugged in and unplugged a lot. But if you're like me, I take care of my stuff. I am very careful with this jack. I'm very careful when I unplug and plug things in. And for my purposes, I feel like I got a lot of value for the money. And just to review the cost, you can get the handheld and the receiver for $399. And you can get the body pack, receiver, and microphone for about $450. Bucks. So, and I got all three, and I have $650 invested in all three things. And I am very, very happy with them so far.